All right, guys, thank you so much for again for joining today. Um, I hope you're all here to learn some strategies that you can implement in video right away, as well as a professional's look at how to take things deeper in video. Um, again, my name is Todd Shea. I'll be your host today and also doing some presenting on virtual open houses. But before we get going, um, I wanted to introduce um, two people. So Sarah Sinclair, we're going to be trying something new today and having a sponsor on these Zoom calls. Uh, Sarah with The Independent is going to be our sponsor today. And uh, one thing we're trying to do is right now, it looks like we have, besides the people that are on the call uh, as uh, speakers, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe about eight videos on and about 45 people on the call. So in an effort to create some more video engagement and get people's faces on camera, um, Sarah is going to sponsor a um, sponsor us and talk a little bit about um, how she's going to do that today with a really cool kind of giveaway. Go ahead, Sarah. Thanks for being here and thanks for being our sponsor. Of course. Thank you, Todd. Uh, I am Sarah Sinclair with the Santa Barbara Independent. I know most of you by name and by face. So uh, thank you for all, all for being here. Um, as Todd mentioned, we're trying to get some extra engagement with these meetings that we're having. All these great topics. Today is no exception at all. So the education committee has decided to start something new and each of these meetings we're going to have a sponsor. The independent is proud to be the sponsor today. So let me tell you how this is going to work. Um, we are giving away a $50 Savoy gift card and I'll tell you how we made that selection in just a minute. But first, let me tell you what you need to do to be eligible to win. So being here is the first step. Uh, having your camera on is the next step. And uh, Casey Gillis is monitoring. Uh, I see we're having some, some additional people jumping on and turning their cameras on already. Casey's going to be monitoring who has their cameras on during the meeting. And everyone who does will be eligible to win the gift card. Uh, we also have a fancy schmancy wheel of fortune type uh, spinning of the wheel that we'll do at the end of the meeting to determine the winner. So we're going to um, experiment with that and see how it works. Um, but first of all, let me mention um, why, we're, why the independent is sponsoring this meeting. Um, as I hope you all know by now, you know, our local news with the independent helps our engaged citizens make informed choices. And we hope that you'll support us for that reason. We also, um, the same trusted platform reaches more people both throughout Santa Barbara and more and more these days all over the world, people who are interested in Santa Barbara. And so those are the same types of people that you want to reach with your advertising messages. So today's, uh, today's session is all about marketing. So I'm here to learn along with all of you, but when it comes to local marketing, we hope that you will turn to the independent. And like I say, I know most of you by name and face, but I'm always happy to answer any questions. Um, and with that, um, like I say, we wanted to sponsor today because of marketing. We also wanted to sponsor today because we're hoping to reinforce the message of supporting local. And that's why we chose the Savoy gift card. You know, Savoy is hopefully one of all of our favorite restaurants. For us at The Independent, it's right down the street from us. So supporting them and in turn giving one of you a $50 gift card so that you can support them too is something that we feel strongly about. So with that, I hope we're all ready to turn on your cameras if you are brave enough. Join us in today's meeting. I will turn it back over to Todd to get us started. Thanks, Todd. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sarah. And thank you guys for turning your cameras on. You all look amazing today. So right. again, just get out there, do it. It's fun. And also, uh, you can win something today too, which is great. So. Um, all right, so to jump in for today, today is going to be talking all about uh, the use of video to create more engagement, to build your brands, to do better for your buyers and sellers. And 
Uh, we have with us today uh, Stephen Miles. He's the founder of North America, or North Avenue, excuse me, North Avenue. Uh, it's a brand marketing studio specializing in the adult beverage industry, which we all know and love. So they do such a great job with branding, and we wanted to bring him on for an expert opinion on video, what's happening, how to do better, um, and what he's seeing in the video space. Um, before he does that, I'm going to talk about virtual open houses, which is basically a strategy that you can implement today to um, you know, start as soon as you get off here in um, creating some engagement with your social media sphere and also help your buyers and sellers um, with their properties. So again, instant implementation, instant implementation, implementation in what's the word instant you can you can put it into work right away whatever that word is and then we'll also have a professional talk about um with what we can do to kind of go deeper so um with that being said uh real quick just some notes and housekeeping again turn your uh videos on if you can uh, next month, we have our seminar coming up on fraud and scams. So make sure you don't miss that one for November. That'll be our last event for this year. Um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into virtual open house process. So you may want to take notes. This will be, I'm just going to go step by step uh, and go through the way that um, I've been doing virtual open houses. So if you have a notepads out, I can, I'd be happy to email some of these later on as we go as well. And I'll be sharing my screen. Um, but I really think that this is something that you can do to make a instant impact on your business starting today. Um, you know, this is something that through COVID was pushed onto us as agents on how can we adapt into the space of video and social media and marketing our properties in a way that now we can't show people all at once and how can we how can we create more engagement with that and so we were pushed into this virtual open house and now this is something that I will always do with my business moving forward so it's kind of one of those positives that came out of COVID um, there are a lot of agents in town that are doing these right now. I love seeing them through different people, the different ways that they're doing them. Um, this is just one way that works for me. And I wanted to share that with you and kind of go over step-by-step -step on how to do these. Um, some good feedback on these, so just so you know that they are working. Uh, it's not something that I would continue to do if it wasn't um, being beneficial for my business or the people that I've talked to that are doing them. Um, just some good feedback from my sellers that feel like I'm taking the right avenues to kind of promote their listing the best way possible. Um, I've gotten a relist from a seller that watched one of my open houses and then called me for a listing contract because they wanted that same thing done with their home. And then also talking with other agents in town, I have heard that they've gotten buyers directly and uh, buyer leads directly for their listings from these virtual open houses. So they're impactful, they're working, and they're making something right away that, uh, that you guys can uh, do to impact your business. Um, again, just some of the benefits from them that may not be right off the bat are, um, with this, you get social proof. So what I feel like social media is a really big piece, a, a big part of social media is that, when, and when I say social proof, it's people wanna work with people that are being busy and people that are successful, right? Um, no one wants to work with someone that's not, they're not doing anything that doesn't look like they're doing anything. And unfortunately today, some agents are very busy, but if you're not doing things on social media, which is a larger platform for your clients, they may feel that you're not doing something for them or you're not visible. And so social proof by doing these videos, it's putting out there that, Hey, I've got listings, I'm doing work, I'm marketing, and I'm, I'm kind of hustling for my clients. Right. Um, these, these are also just like traditional open houses when we could do these in person um, are a great way for online lead generation. So these can be syndicated out to all the major sites, Zillow and Trulia, Realtor.com. And buyers can click on these and come into and watch these events live just like they would a regular open house. So you're actually engaging buyers that you don't even know about yet. So these can be online lead generation tools as well. Um, 
The cool thing about these, one thing I like about these virtual open houses is that it creates content that can stay there on your social media and YouTube channels for a long time. Um, again, I also think this helps agents in town be able to preview homes that they're not be able to preview otherwise. I've watched other agents virtual open houses and it's been really interesting and, and cool to see. Uh, it helps me be able to talk to my buyers and sellers about these other homes uh, by watching other agents virtual open houses. So some really good kind of benefits from them. So let's just jump into it and talk about things you'll need to kind of get going. So again, webcam um, and a laptop are good setups. I would always recommend a double screen monitor setup for this. It's much easier to be able to share a screen and have another screen open with your notes. Um, so I would definitely recommend having something like that. Doesn't mean you can't do it without that, but just nice to have. Um, I do mine on a um, using an iPhone and iMovie to edit mine, but there are also a lot of companies in town that can uh, shoot the agent-led walkthrough video uh, for you professionally. And I would, you know, you can look into that and go deeper on that, or just shoot it on an iPhone and use iMovie to edit, which we'll talk about today. Um, I use a company called StreamYard, S-T-R-E-A-M-Y-A-R-D. It's a third-party service that allows me to go live on multiple platforms at one time. So StreamYard, and that's a free service. You can also get a paid version as well, if you'd like. And then just access to the MLS, a Facebook account, and a YouTube account if you wanted to go there as well. So to start off the process, again, it's all about preparation and making sure that you're all set up just like anything. Um, also, you'll get better and better at these. The first time you do it, uh, may seem really awkward and weird and you might be worried about messing up, but people are okay with that now more than ever and understand that, you know, people, companies, everyone's trying things for the first time and it also makes you a little bit more relatable. So I feel don't be, don't be concerned. This is not a newscast. You don't need to come off professional and polished. Um, you can be cut out of a Zoom call and then just join again and no one even knows. So it's all good. Um, so again, just kind of keep going with it. Don't worry about it. Try it. And the, every time you do it, it gets easier and easier. Um, so again, let's start with the process here. So I'm going to share my screen and you're going to start with a walkthrough video of the property. So let's see, share my screen here. All right. So this is just an example of a property that I shot here. It's just a walkthrough with my iPhone of the property itself. And there's nothing special to it. The, um, there are companies in town that can do these walkthrough videos as well very easily. But I'm just walking through, I'm just showing each room and I'm doing it with a little bit more detail than I would just kind of a quick video. This is also not like a marketing professional video where you have just kind of like slide shots of each of the, the rooms really quickly. You wanna just walk through and kind of show around and do a walkthrough of the whole property as you go through the, the home, okay? So again, this can be done on an on a iPhone. This can be done with a professional company that can do an agent-led walkthrough tour, but there's no sound to it, okay? There's, no, there's nothing to it yet, it's just a video, okay? So once I do the, once I do that, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take this video. I'm gonna put it up on my screen and I'm gonna watch the video. And as I watch the video, I'm gonna to talk to myself basically and write notes in a note. You can either write it down or write them or type them in and take notes of what I would say and what I would talk about um, during this, right? So let's say for example, I come in and I'm talking about how you know, these are the floor, the types of floors that they have. These are the details about the property. And I'm watching the video and I'm taking my notes and I'm talking about the whole property all the way down. Sometimes I'm pausing, I'm interjecting some details that I wouldn't know otherwise, but that's giving me this whole kind of list of walkthrough uh, that I would have now that when I do my virtual open house and I'm playing this video, now I have all the points that I wanna hit 
and I make sure that I have all the details lined out and they go in, they kind of go in sync with the video that I'm talking about. So I'm not talking about the kitchen when I'm showing the garage, for example, right? So I play my video back, I take my notes of the property and I'm putting in all the details that I need. So now that I have both of those together, there's two things you can do. Um, you can do um, uh, kind of voiceover of this using iMovie and voice that over. And then you can upload that to the MLS and have it as an agent led walkthrough tour, which is really nice. Or you can just hold on to that and just use it for virtual open house purposes. So you can use it for both. Hey, Todd. Yes. Sorry to interrupt, but we're not seeing your screen right now. So I don't know if that was your intention. Yeah, no, I came back from it. I just wanted to okay. show it real quick. Thank you for checking though. I appreciate that. I'll share it again here shortly as well with something else. So now that you have your video and you have your walkthrough notes from watching the video, um, the next thing to do is to go to uh, StreamYard and I'm gonna share my screen again. So StreamYard is my third party service that's going to allow me to, hold on, let's see. Share my screen, there we go. Todd, can I ask you a quick question? This is Samantha. Yeah, go ahead, Samantha. When you're, when you're doing your video introduction, like at, sometimes I'll see you or another agent in front of their home and you're saying, hi, I'm at 123 mm -hmm. uh, Main Street and we're going to go through this property. Are you doing that before you go in and then you're doing it without sound as you go through and then you go back and insert the sound or how do you adapt that intro? Yeah, great question. So I like to do mine where I can use it on the MLS as an agent led tour and then also for my virtual open houses. So I will memorize the first 10, you know, 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Samantha, like you said, hey, intro, this is Todd Shea with Zia Group. I'm at 1234 Main Street today. Here's a couple highlights. Let's go take a look. And then at that point, Samantha, then I'll just do the walkthrough and I'll voice over that later in iMovie. So I'll take my notes as I watch the video. And so I'll take the, the audio from the first part and then remove all the other audio and, and voice over my notes. So it sounds really nice and clean throughout the whole thing. Um, it does usually take me like 10 takes for that 30 seconds <laughs> intro part. Uh, but once I get that down, like it's pretty good and easy. And that's how I'll kind of combine both together. If you were just doing a virtual open house, you don't even have to do that first part. But Samantha, to your point, if you wanted to use it for both, I'll do live live audio for that and then voiceover for the remaining walkthrough part. Does that answer your question? Great question. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah. All right, so now I'm in StreamYard and this is the third party service that goes directly live to Facebook. And then you can also go live to YouTube as well. So. Um, I'm going to create a broadcast in here. I can select Facebook and um, my YouTube channel as well. So I can create either one. So I select them both. I can create a title for it, you know, virtual open house for 123 Main Street. I put a description in here of what I want it to say, maybe some notes from the MLS. And I can select schedule for later, which is really nice. So schedule for later, I wanna do this on Friday at two o'clock. The great thing about virtual open houses is that you can do as many of them and whenever you want to do them as you want. You could do one every day if you wanted to. I mean, that's, you couldn't do an open, you usually wouldn't be able to do an open house in person like that. So that's what I love about that. Um, you can upload a thumbnail image. So, Either you can create this on Photoshop or Canva or have your marketing department do it. But once you, you can upload this image, this image is gonna be the image that's gonna show on your Facebook and on your YouTube channel until you go live. So it's almost like a marketing piece. Um, that thumbnail needs to be 1920 by 1080. So 1920 by 1080, if you size it. Um, and again, your marketing department can create those for you. Once you upload all that, you pick a date and time and you push save. 
um, StreamYard is going to post this to your YouTube and to your Facebook channel. So it will look like this and it will create an event. So you'll see it on your Facebook, StreamYard automatically posts those events and those are ready to go um, for the date that you go live, right? So now you're all set, you've posted through StreamYard, it shows on your YouTube, it shows on your Facebook. And now you can kind of market these and, and talk about these and promote them as well. Um, you can also embed a code into MLS so that these syndicate out to all of the different um, online sites, Zillow and, and, and others like that. So how to do that. So if you go to your listing and you go to scheduled marketing activities, select open house, then click the open house button. And then all you do is you fill out the form and your the link you put in there is basically www.facebook.com slash your Facebook name. So mine is Todd Shea Realtor slash live. And that's what you need. So again, you put that link in there, www.facebook.com slash your Facebook name slash live. And then go ahead and click add open house. That will be broadcast out to all channels. So any buyer that uh, looking at these on Zillow can click on that link on the day and they can go live and see your Facebook live. And that's how you can get buyer leads. So really, really important key piece if you want maximum visibility. So again, just a couple of things left and we'll be done with my section. So you've got it in MLS now, you've promoted it on um, Facebook and your YouTube channel through StreamYard. And now the day of you're ready to go and you're gonna go live on to StreamYard, right? So you're gonna enter in StreamYard, I'll share my screen again. So you're gonna go live in StreamYard. Let's say this is the one we're using. You enter broadcast studio and you can do this before your event. And you'll go ahead and go into the studio here. It'll show your picture. You enter the broadcast studio and this is what StreamYard will look like on the day of your event. So you add yourself to the stream. And then this box over here is gonna be the comment section where people will be posting comments when they're watching your Facebook Live. Open up in the, up in the corner here, this will say uh, actually go live. Up in the corner, say go live and it will have a countdown until the time that you go live. So again, a couple things to make sure you're ready to go is make sure your lighting is good, make sure you're all set up. What I do is I, you share your screen on this as well. So down here at the bottom, it says share screen. So you can share your screen and you wanna have your walkthrough video all set up. Some other things that I'll have set up is I'll have my, let's see, I'll have like a Google Maps maybe set up so I can talk about the area. Maybe I'll have my website up so I can talk about um, the uh, property itself and show some pictures as well. And then for the first maybe one to five minutes while people are joining this Facebook Live, I talk about market stats. So you need to have something to talk about for the first couple minutes uh, as people get, uh, they get alerted on their phone that you're live. And you need to have a couple minutes at the beginning to kind of talk about some stats or you know, talk about the market, what's happening, right? Then you click good, uh, go live. It automatically alerts everyone on your Facebook that's your friends with or on your YouTube channel that you're live. Uh, people that are scrolling past will see that you're live. On Zillow, it will show that you're live, all of these different locations. And at that point, you're live and you kind of have passed the point of no return, you've got to go for it. So have fun with it, share your screen, talk about your video. And what I do is I'll show, you know, talk about the market, I'll talk about the area a little bit with a map, and then I'll just go through that video and go through my notes that I've listed already for my agent walkthrough and just talk about those. If people want you to go back and show you something special or if they have questions, they can post in the comments. 
Um, it takes maybe about 20 to 30 minutes for these walkthrough videos. Sometimes you get a lot of people and you get some really good engagement. Uh, sometimes it's total crickets and you're just talking to yourself on live for 30 minutes, which is fine. Um, just like a regular open house. We've all been there through both of those. So again, the great part about it is you can do these anytime. You can do them multiple times. They create a great impact for your business. And, um, you know, just really are a great process. And I, I would recommend just try it out and do it. Um, I'll be watching. Uh, I'd love to check these out. They're always fun to see for me as well. Um, and so again, any other questions you have, please let me know. I know that's a lot, but I hope that kind of uh, helped you through some of the process and one way to go live and uh, promote your properties and your business. So with that being said, I'm done. Thank you guys for listening. And I'm going to um, now uh, introduce a professional <laughs> to really talk to you about some video marketing. Um, so with us today, uh, again, is Stephen Miles. He's the founder of uh, North Avenue. Um, prior to starting North Avenue, Stephen led a brand, develop, uh, brand development as a partner within Windy Hill Brands, implementing brand and a go-to marketing plans uh, for established companies such as Paps Brewing, um, over 25 startup beverages such as George Strait's Kodagio Tequila. I probably said that wrong. Um, Steven, you can correct me. Um, but again, he's been working with um, uh, previous led uh, creative and strategic items for clients including Red Bull, Barefoot Wines, Heineken, uh, tons of Warren, uh, tons of more, including a number of advertising awards. Um, Stephen credits this combination of agency, creative strategy and operator sales experience to North Avenue's brand marketing approach as a partner to both established companies and exciting new companies today. Again, um, thank you so much for being with us today, Stephen. And uh, let's talk some more deeper dive into video. Yeah, well, well, thank you so much, Todd, for that introduction, and uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, it's an honor to be here. And um, yeah, as Todd mentioned, um, put together just a, a brief presentation for you guys on how to uh, really leverage video um, in real estate to drive sales um, at the end of the day. So let me pull up uh, my quick presentation, and I hope everyone's doing well today. So we are called North Avenue. Um, thank you again, Todd, for that. Um, and uh, we're down here in Ventura, just south of, of many of you in Santa Barbara. Um, and we started this past uh, January. And as Todd mentioned, um, we really specialize in uh, brand development, marketing strategy, and then marketing execution. Um, and so <laughs> it's great to be here um, and want to discuss just video really from a high level with all of you guys. Um, so, you know, real estate video marketing is a subject that real estate companies of all shapes and sizes just cannot ignore. Um, yes, you can use video marketing to generate leads. And to be honest, who doesn't like that? But beyond the sheer number of leads that you can attract um, from each video marketing campaign, Video marketing arguably has more important benefits for the long-term course of your business. If I had to nail it down to one thing, video is so powerful because you can make a genuine connection with your audience. Your audience sees that you are an authentic uh, and that you're knowledgeable about your craft. They see your personality and your interests outside your work in the real estate sector. Um, so it's word of mouth at the end of the day, but it's scalable. So it's an exciting, um, exciting avenue for all of us uh, to share our strengths and our products. So uh, developing this close personal relationship um, between you and your customers is what we wanna talk about today. Um, because it's almost like your audience members have already met you. So, um, and, <laughs> my team and I have seen the power of video marketing in many industries and sectors, mainly adult beverage, as Todd mentioned, um, but this certainly applies to real estate as well. And uh, one recent study I thought was interesting uh, to note 
um, was that real estate listings that have videos get over 400% more interest than listings that don't include video. So because of this, I just wanna take the time to share some basic tips on getting started with uh, bringing video into your marketing avenue um, and how you can best use video marketing for your real estate business moving forward. Can you all see my screen? Great, I'll take, take that as a yes. Um, so getting, getting started. So there are three things essentially to get started uh, with video. Um, maybe I should have gone before Todd because he, he had such a great uh, overview of, of live streaming um, and, and getting into the, the tactics of it. But you know, first things first, um, you do need a good camera. What you do not need is to shoot your videos with a high-end you know, DSLR camera that costs $3,000 and use professional software to edit your videos. Um, if you can, that's certainly fantastic. Um, but I always recommend starting small and treating yourself to better equipment as you improve your own video skills uh, or your marketing team's video skills. Um, Nevertheless, you do need a good camera and a newer iPhone, uh, iPhone 10 or above should certainly do the trick here. Um, good sound, um, as Todd was mentioning during his presentation too, um, I think this is arguably the most important element um, to consider, especially if you'd like to involve narration in your videos. Um, you just do wanna make sure that sound is absolutely clear in your videos. Um, if it's difficult for your viewer to hear, um, that's not good. So if you are doing a speech-based video, I would uh, consider investing in a cost-effective microphone or even just some earbuds actually do a great job um, for a lot of the work that we're doing. Um, and then last but not least, branding your videos. Um, you're making videos so that you can eventually get more business and build your brand online. Um, so I would certainly recommend that all your videos are branded with an engaging intro, a conclusion, show, you know, integrating a watermark, your logo um, throughout the video with a relevant call to action um, that really brings viewers back to your website or your landing page um, so that you're building your brand and you're becoming a source of ongoing information for repeat buyers, new prospective buyers, um, and, and generally becoming the go-to resource for, for many uh, prospective buyers in the field. Um, so in summary here, there it is, <clears throat> an iPhone, some, some AirPods um, and some editing software um, where you can put your logo on your, your videos, create your own um, uh, introduction. I, I recommend this uh, site called Magisto, um, it, which is a professional editing app, editing app for beginners. It's super cost effective. I think it's under $10 a month um, and has everything you need to create professional edited videos. Um, that being said, those are the, the very basic uh, three items that you need to get started. Um, if you do have the budget for it, um, professional equipment is always nice, uh, particularly for, for listing videos. Um, drones are a, an awesome feature um, if the neighborhood allows you to fly the drone um, or if you're willing to take that personal risk and throw it up anyway. Um, but those do look fantastic. Um, and if you are shooting on an iPhone too, I think one additional item here that would be smart to consider are stabilizers or tripods. Um, it uh, can be quite uh, uh, annoying for a viewer to see shaky video if you're taking video um, just using your, your hand, um, but is by no means uh, necessary. So just another quick little tidbit for you guys. So um, next, wanted to talk about, so now that you have the, the basics of, um, of putting a video together, um, what, what are we actually creating, right? So um, videos 
that, that I've seen that grow followership um, and build your own brand are the following. So first and foremost, listing videos. Um, this is definitely the reigning champ of real estate videos. You guys have such an incredible product to display um, and showing off the properties you represent in a stylish fashion um, is definitely an effective means of impressing those top of the funnel leads um, who are learning about properties in your market area, um, as well as moving middle and bottom of the funnel leads into that you know, personal, you know, whether it's telephone or over email or in-person meetings, um, showcasing your, your property that, that, you're, that you're hosting um, is, is obviously something that we would wanna do. Um, what's great about this is that, and as, as Todd mentioned too, you, don't, you no longer just need to put up photos in that, that slideshow. Um, you can showcase them uh, in a variety of ways and just using, using the video, um, you know, as I said in the beginning, does uh, get over 400% more viewership than uh, listings without it. And so <laughs> again, using apps like Camera Plus or Magisto makes shooting these videos extremely easy. You can do this personally, um, or you can uh, bring in some professional support um, to get it done right. Um, so listing videos are number one. Um, Two, uh, you know, we thought quarter year and review videos showing how well your quarter year went is a really effective way to just showcase uh, that you're not a fly by night realtor and uh, builds trust with your, your potential consumer. So sharing stats, um, like how many deals you closed during the year, total earnings combined with images and clips of your clients in their new homes or in front of their sold sign, um, is definitely going to help build trust and um, is a piece of content that we'd want to get out there um, to your prospective buyers on an ongoing basis. Um, home buyer seller advice videos. I, I know me personally, I'd be interested in this, um, but direct, you know, two minute recap videos that explain things that you're all experts in um, from you know, optimal means to save for a home purchase, ideal ways to research mortgage lenders, how to determine if it's a seller's market, um, other similar topics um, that you can then uh, merchandise on your social channels. Um, these are all things that people are looking for, um, whether they're experienced or new prospective buyers, um, giving people the tips and tricks uh, that you all know so well is just gonna be helpful in demonstrating you as an expert um, and also just keep their attention and wanna learn more from you. Um, and then <laughs> thought team culture, uh, a team and culture videos. You know, you may not think that uh, local home buyers and sellers would be interested in, in seeing the day-to-day -day life um, of, uh, of your office or your work from home office. Um, but I think you'd be surprised in what can help demonstrate the competence, you know, your character, your charisma um, of those yourself working at your company. Um, and so <clears throat> in summary here, I think it all just starts with great content um, and conveying your brand, how you portray yourself to your audience um, and um, and allowing them to learn more about the specific products that you're putting out there. Um, from a high level, um, as you put these videos together, um, thought that it might be helpful just to lay out um, some engagement techniques. And um, on the marketing side, I know our team, we like to employ what's called the HERO approach. Um, HERO stands for hook, empathy, response, over deliver. Um, you know, the whole game around social media, which, which is where you're most likely going to be sharing a lot of these videos um, across Facebook and Instagram. Um, the whole game is to stop scrolling thumbs, right? And, um, and it may be a little counterintuitive at, at times, but compelling videos don't necessarily need to tell a story chronologically. They don't save the best content for last with this big finale. 
um, often that's put right up front so that you stop those thumbs right at the beginning and get people engaged um, uh, at the start. So the hook, right? And then um, let a good example of this <laughs> where, you, where we can probably all relate. Um, I know I was looking at this last night as I was making bolognese and I don't know how to do that without watching a video. So, uh, uh, you know, you'll see all the ingredients and how they come together, but you'll often see that uh, how to make bolognese, it starts with a finished bolognese, like being served to a family and everybody's happy and loves it. And you're like, wow, that's, that's the scene I want um, instead of just starting with the, the chopped onion, you know? Um, so um, maybe I won't go into every detail of uh, hook empathy response and over deliver here, but I think most important point is really uh, starting with the big bang up front um, and how that could apply to some of your listings would be the ocean view or um, you know the nicest room in the home might just be a great way um, to start your video um, to get people to really feel into that and, um, and uh, engage from there. So I meant, I just mentioned it too, but, you know, sharing your brand, your product um, is likely going to come through digital means, right? And so some unique real estate video marketing statistics I found were that 50% of home of buyers find their new home online. 84% of new home buyers say they're, the information they found online was crucial, crucial for their research. 51% of new home buyers garner information from YouTube on purchasing their new home, which I thought was interesting for, for this industry specifically. And 100% of potential buyers are spending more and more time across digital networks, right? Because we all are. Um, so I thought what was interesting here um, was most users arrive uh, or wanted to point out that most users arrive at YouTube, if that's going to be a place that you're featuring your videos, um, really from a link that they've been served on another platform. Um, they rarely will go to YouTube uh, looking for Santa Barbara real estate, for instance. And so <clears throat> um, using social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram um, can really help target a potential buyer audience um, and just better reach those, those potential buyers. So um, I would really rec only recommend YouTube um, if your video is exceedingly long. Um, and for the most part, that's, that's something that we wanna avoid, I think. Um, attention spans are going down and you know, like uh, putting the hook up front, I think if we can consolidate our videos into 30 or 60 second uh, briefs, uh, stop thumbs um, as the goal and share through our social platforms um, in, a, in an efficient manner, then I think you guys are gonna see a lot of positive results from these videos. So, um, Thank you. <laughs> um, no, I, I think uh, that was my brief presentation. I hope you guys found, found that uh, helpful from a high level. Um, but if you ever need you know, any help developing your brand, your social platforms, um, that's what we do at North Avenue. And we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have at any time, um, whether just personal or professional help, um, we're always here. Um, and that's my email steven at northavenue.com um, and that's my number um, so thank you again for your time um, i hope you have a great week ahead i hope this was helpful it was really fun being here um, so thank you todd and um, back to you guys yeah thank you so much steven that was great uh can't give you applause like we normally would but that was a really good presentation um again that hero approach just that alone totally changed my mentality. Um, 
So thank you for that huge note. And uh, I will be putting up all the amazing shots first to stop those thumbs from scrolling. So again, just huge, huge point. Thank you so much for the stats and diving into that, especially since it's out of your kind of normal business arena of adult beverages. Um, but yeah, super, I, lo I loved it. Thank you so much for your insight. And um, I'm sure we can go deeper and dive in more later as well. So again, thank you, Stephen, for being on. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, and so, Casey, you had something? Huh? We're gonna spin a wheel, right? Of course. Okay. I know you're so, Casey is very, very excited to do this. So I know she is pumped. And let's I'm just get hoping the, it works. No, 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 I'm excited as well. Let's get to the wheel spin. So. I love the fact that we have, I can have my, I have my whole screen now of probably 30 people on video, which is amazing. Thank you guys for doing that. Most of these, it usually has the presenters and that's it for video. So thank you guys for showing your faces. I really enjoy it. And um, it sounds like it's working. So let's, let's give away a gift card, Sarah. You want to go ahead and, uh, and do this here? Sure, sure. Uh, I would echo what Todd said. Thank you so much, Stephen and Todd, for great presentations. Um, and a final reminder that, you know, the independent uh, can help you do a lot of the things that both Stephen and Todd mentioned, a really effective, affordable way to expand your brand and reinforce your brand. So that's my last 20 second commercial. And now, like Todd said, Casey is very excited to spin the wheel. <laughs> So we're going to do the wheel spin and see who wins the $50 Savoy gift card. So Casey, do your thing. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, that looks good. This is great. Oh, Todd Shea. <laughs> Todd, are you eligible to win no. this prize? No, remove. <laughs> Definitely not. I love that though. <clears throat> That's hilarious. All right, Casey, let's go. Oh, Kelly Weiser. Kelly she Weiser is the winner. I do believe that Kelly is eligible. She's on our committee and she helped arrange today's program, but she also was here and a participant Casey, is Kelly eligible? I would say so. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Nice. Cool. Kelly, thank you. Yeah. Congrats. Congratulations, Kelly. And, and thanks again, everyone, for being here. Kelly, I will get you your Savoy gift card. You don't even have to use it to take me to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to take you to lunch, Sarah. <laughs> It is right down the street. No, thanks so much, everybody. Yeah, thank you again for being here. I hope you guys learned. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone uh, virtual open houses and um, doing some hero shots with Steven. So thank you guys. Have a great one. See ya.